Also, I mean, you can attach it to autofocus type systems as well that do it for you. But the focus on this thing is gigantic all the way around. We get it to go from infinity to its close focus distance. It's huge compared to the, compared to the, um, bring it to shot here, compared to the 35CY here, it's like tiny. So if I go, what's that? That's got to be like, that's 90 degrees more, maybe about 100 and something. But then this is huge, it's 270 I think. So you've got that. And then we've got our T-stops. Now, I may have explained this already, but I'm gonna repeat myself. T-stops are an actual measurement of light transmission through a lens. So F-stops are based off of the focal length of the lens, 35, and then sort of it's a division, I can't remember which way around it is, of the actual size of the aperture opening so it's not a measurement such as like geometry whereas this once you've got your f stop i think you divide it by the square root of the transmissivity of the length of the glass so you measure the transmission through then divide it into the f stop and that gives you the t stop and as i was saying before i'm well, probably going to say in a minute that basically this is essential on film set especially if you shoot film because you want everything to be exposed the same now there is a slight difference obviously when you put like f 2.8 on here won't quite equate to f 2.8 on here on the other lens because basically it's not taking into account the transmission of the light through the lens but you know it is an interesting thing and it's one of those things where when people use light meters with even with photography cameras obviously the light meter is not passing through glass so sometimes you see a disparity between the metering on a camera and actually what the light meter is saying because obviously the light meter for the camera is inside the camera and obviously the transmission so it's like sort of having to do its calculation after the lights pass through the glass but when you're using a light meter it's doing it externally so there's a small difference it's not gigantic but obviously in the realms of cinema everything needs to be precise so there you go 